Welcome to Hiring Out You Can Fan, Series 2, Episode 8. We're doing a case study on Meg, our second hire van. Our big Megalodon. Big Megalodon, inspired, of course, by the Jurassic... No. Oh. It's the P1 that begins with P. Prehistoric. Anyway, a really old shark that was freaking huge. Mm. And it's actually got a fossilised Megalodon shark's tooth. Real tooth. Quirky, really, really, quirky stuff like that is really popular. Yeah, apparently really common. They just shedded teeth non-stop anyway, mm -hmm. so they're just littered in California. Yeah, just like elephants, their sharks always lose their teeth. Mm. Constantly losing do, their do, teeth. Do, 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 do. They can replace it. Wish humans could do that. It'd be a lot cheaper going to the dentist. Anyway, we digress. <laughs> Something about brands. <laughs> Megalodon. Uh, so let's go through the facts. She seats six people and she sleeps between five and six people if you want mm. to share a bed. So she's got super king size, a single bed, a single bed and then a, a third single bed on top of the rear-facing bench seats. Um, full kitchen, shower. Balcony shower. Shower balcony. Um, really, really popular with families. The reason why we got her yeah. was after having Spike, we realised that we were missing out on a market of um, anyone more than three people yeah. as a family. We had a lot of people just messaging, saying, do you have a van of this size? And we're like, oh. And we're like, oh. oh. So we were kind of guided by the market for that one. So the purchase of Meg was about fifteen thousand pounds, and that was when the rental, the purchase prices of vans was going up. So probably about ten percent more than they should have been, um, compared with twenty nineteen prices. And then the refit of her cost about ten thousand pounds. So a total cost of twenty five thousand pounds. Now we've only been hiring out Meg for in twenty twenty from mid-April because we were shut down due to Covid and in 2021 she bought in £13,700 worth of bookings so just over 50% mm. of the total yeah. cost so return on investment is over 50% which is great for something that's so fun yeah. when you compare it to she barely had any miles yeah exactly and that's another great point um, about Meg because she is such a family van and larger she's what seven metres long wheelbase mm. sprinter Families tend to take her to a campsite and leave her there and just use her as yeah. like the minimum mileage tent replacement. Yeah. And cost per person is cheaper as well. Exactly, yeah. So cost per person is cheaper and we have less mileage on her. So she's the most underutilised, but the price per booking we actually get more for her. Yeah, I think in one month there was slightly more increased uh, than Spike, but for one yeah. month. But yeah, that's when they were back. Booked back to back. So she is a more expensive van to hire, yeah. um, so we take more money from her per booking and we get less mileage. So if you want a vehicle with less mileage, it's a really great yeah, model to go for. Um, but that's not the type of van for everyone, and we understand that. We just wanted to give you a case study of the type of the second type of vehicle that we have, um, because our third vehicle is very similar to our yeah. first vehicle. One one in the middle, Otto, four person. It was a sort of sweet spot in the, sweet spot in the middle. It's sort of almost like a for our design portfolio, as it were. We wanted again double bed, but then we also wanted to make a, a social space. So with the lifting bed, and then another double bed under the bed, which could also turn into a lounge. Um, very popular. Really out. popular, and I think Matt really wanted to like engage his engineering brain. Yeah. So with the ADHD, sometimes Matt really wants to like challenge himself and do something. So we we knew that having more beds means that you can charge a higher rental premium for that. So we also made two couples. It wasn't just a, a couple on a third wheel or a yeah. couple of baby. It was like two couples, lovely big wide kitchen, and then a proper actual seating space for four people. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was more. Uh, it was aiming at a different demographic uh, exactly of people. Um, so we've kind of covered a couple of case studies of our vehicles. The next episode you don't want to miss is all about our worst, worst hire. Oh, it's really meaty worst. and juicy and it's really important. And it just, sorry. No, it's really important that you understand what can go wrong and how difficult it can be because that's exactly why I put the camp van hire course together. Mm. Link in description because I don't want you to struggle through this stuff. I want you to be supportive. This is the thing that set it all off. The, it was the hire that just kept on giving. Really. Yeah, so tune into the next episode to watch all that. Yeah, see you there.